In Open Buildings Designer, there is a possibility to create a still framed building. The Place Still Framed Building tool is opened. Under General tab, user is able to determine the number of floors and their height. The number of bays and their spacing can be specified both in X and Y directions. X, Y and Z origin by default are set to zero. The Beams and Columns tab contains the settings that control the construction of the steel framed building. The small preview on the left side of the window shows the currently specified elements. For all elements, we can choose existing catalog type and catalog instance. Section size input allows you to modify the type of structural section selected for the structural members. Clicking the value cell opens the section picker. The selection made here overrides the structural section defined for the selected structural components types. You can select from the catalog library or from a list of recent sections. Under the floor slabs tab, we are able to specify the floor slab, its thickness and the overhang. Footings and base plates control the support for the main columns of our building. We can specify the footing and piers as well as base plates. There are two different types of bracing system. X bracing and the K bracing. Similarly to the other elements of our framed system, we can select an existing catalog type and the catalog instance or select the section size using the catalog library. After a few seconds, our still framed building is created. This tool automates the placement of the still framed building according to your specification. All of the elements are tracked in the schedule. We can easily report all the data attached to our model. This tool could be used for conceptual and preliminary design. It allows users to create framed building efficiently. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.